Also, these ridges where the ants occur are very fragmented, so they do not occur on each of those ridges continuously. So those ridges are mostly known for orange orchards. So orange orchards and uh, urban developments. And so natural areas on these ridges are very patchy. And so as you can imagine, the ant populations are therefore also patchy. There are several um, state parks and, and other and national forests and things like that. And the Lake Wales Ridge and the Brooksville Ridge, where the ants occur, those are the oldest ridges. They're the ones that are furthest inland. And when I say oldest, I mean they're about one million years old, which is um, a long time for, for instance, diversions to occur. So if you imagine that these ants um, were there from like when these ridges formed, so that means that for one million years they've been separate. Um, and there are actually several other animal and plant species where you find those similarly only occur on these two ridges and nowhere else. And there are some, there's some evidence of divergence as well, so where things are very different between those two ridges, different species on each ridge. So the ridge itself, both the ridges that they're on, are very old. They're uh, by Eastern standards. They're about, uh, uh, more than a million years old, so they could have been isolated a long time.